Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make these with After Effects. Let's get started. So first step, let's create new background, right mouse, new and solid. Add name, background, click OK. Then go to FX preset. Let's search gradient ramp. Select this gradient ramp. Let's use for this background solid layer. And go to select end color. Let's select green color. Click OK. Go to start. And select green again here. Let's select dark. And click OK. Then change ramp size. Radial ramp. And let's move to down these points. Click swap colors. Let's move to down. And let's go to end color. Change to dark. Like this. And open start color. Let's make like this. Click OK. OK, nice. So let's look layer. Let's go to click text and let's write here. Nijat Ibrahimli YouTube channel. OK, let's select all text. Change like this. And font style. Bold. Okay, that's good. Let's hold control, double click this anchor point icon for move anchor point center. Click selection tool and go to window, open a link and let's click this icon and this icon for move to our text to center. Okay, so let's create new solid layer, right mouse, new and solid. And let's select color with eyedropper. Let's change to dark. Click OK. Add name. Shadow. Click OK. And let's go to shape tools. Hold this shape. Select ellipse tool. And let's make one ellipse like this. Click selection tool. And let's select palm behind icon. Move to center. Click selection tool and move to here. Then open mask one and let's change mask feather like this and press T, open opacity, change opacity like this. Okay, let's change opacity like this. Four to three. Okay, let's change scale like this and move to down this shadow. Okay, not bad. Let's go to FX Presets. Let's search FX Drop Shadow. Select this Drop Shadow. Let's use to text. Okay. So, select this text. Let's press P. Make new patching keyframe and let's move to up. Okay. Then Go to 10 keyframe for shortcut. You can use hold shift, press page down in the keyboard. And let's move to down. Go to 10 keyframe again. Move to up. Go to 10 keyframe. Move to down. Again, go to 10 keyframe. Move to up. Let's see. Okay, we have problem with one keyframes. Let's select this keyframe, right mouse, go to keyframe interpolation, change auto bezier to linear, click OK. Let's say again. OK, select keyframes, make easy. OK, not bad. So, select keyframes, go to graph editor and select these graphs. Let's change scale like this. Okay, select this graph 
let's make like this okay back to J frames select this J frame let's move to up go to here and move to down let's say again nice so in this time go to first second hold shift press air make rotation keyframe change rotation like this and let's move to up this like this okay and go to here change let's go to first second change this plus 12 and go to here change minus 6 go to here again change 3 go to again here change minus 1.5 go to again last shape frame change 1 and go to here change 0 this more shape frames for bones effect let's say shape frames make easy is let's see okay not bad so in this time let's select this shadow go to here and press s click this icon and go to here make sketch a frame go to first second change scale like this change zero select a frames make easy is let's see okay and select this shadow hold shift press t and make opacity keyframe frame move to right and change opacity zero select keyframes frames make easy let's say again let's move to left okay so in this time go to here and let's change scale like this go to last keyframe. frame change scale go to again next j frame change scale like this again go to here okay let's see okay that's good so select this layer text layer click this icon for motion blur and let's see again okay nice so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck